This is Mark Rafton with Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance bringing you another video of the Core Stability Series. This is phase two, the beginning slash intermediate phase of stability training for our core musculature, for athletes, and our active population. Make sure you have mastered the first phase before you move on to the second phase. Core phase two has, again, four exercises. We'll do the single leg bridge, number one. Number two will be the knee up. Number three will be the knee up with upper trunk rotation. And the fourth one will be an alternating super variant. All good for core stability, all very easy to load once you master them and make sure you master them before you move to the phase three. So beginning intermediate program, phase two core stability program. The first exercise is the one-legged bridge. Make sure your pelvis stays flat. It will wanna to rotate to the open side. So when you're doing your sets of 10 to 12, make sure your level pelvis stays level. So hands on the hips to verify, glutes tight, abs engaged. Up, one-legged. Nice and easy, work in a motion that you can control. And make sure your pelvis does not drop to the open side, which would be on my right side currently. We're going to do 10 reps per side, controlled and easy. You will notice one side will probably likely be harder than the other. That's okay. The next exercise are going to be the knee ups. It's pretty simple and it can be made very difficult if you want it to be, but in the hook line position right here, we'll do the knee up. Back flat, abs engaged, up, down. The back will want to arch. Try to keep it flat and then hold that position. If you want to make it harder, the feet just get farther away from you as you do the knee up. But I would stay pretty close to your body during the entry level part of these exercises. Make sure you are breathing. The second variant of this is very simple as well because they're third exercises. Knee stays up, upper trunk rotation. Very similar to the phase one exercise, except our knees are now up. You will have to counterbalance some by moving to the opposite side with the legs, especially when you add resistance. That's okay. Make sure you're breathing and stabilizing. Pay attention to your movement and make it deliberate. Don't just go through the motions. You only have one body. Pretty, pretty please make sure you take care of it. The last exercise is the first exercise we're actually doing in prone, which is mean on your stomach, to get that extension. The extension is going to be important for stability as well. Most of us sit all day long or sit predominantly during the day. And so extension is obviously a lacking range of motion and stability exercise for most people. So for that one, we're gonna turn on our stomach. This variant of the Superman will involve alternating arms and legs. Right arm, left leg. Go as high as you can control and that's comfortable for you. You will likely also have a side that's easier than the other. That's okay, but you gotta make sure you're trying to make them equal. You can add weight to your hands or your feet when this gets too easy, especially before you move to phase three. That concludes the phase two core stability training series video. Make sure you're breathing, stabilizing, moving deliberately with your motions. Add resistance, master your technique, and then we can move to core stability phase three. Mastering technique and breathing with stability is going to be paramount to integrate these into your active lifestyle or sports that you play, but also key for injury prevention, and that's really why we're doing these. We don't wanna get hurt, we wanna perform better and we wanna perform longer without pain or restriction. So again, this is phase two, core stability training. Up next, phase three. Again, 
Thank you for watching. I'm Mark Rathbun with Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance.